mentioned, of course, Javante Davis, Tank. Um, is he going to fight before the end of the year, you think? Uh, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. That's a good question. Um, and that's a question that I can't answer. That's a question that I can't answer right now. But Tank, when, when, when Tank is ready to, to come back out, he's going to make that big splash like he always does. Are, are people crazy for uh, a, a lot of speculation that it would be a Cruz rematch? Is that, is that crazy or, or that well, makes people, sense? Well, people, Tank can fight anybody who he wants to fight because he's that big. Yeah, and it don't have to be for a belt. It don't have to, and I can say that. I mean, he's that guy. He's that. He's that guy. Um, but you know, I know firsthand. You know, and this is from his mouth. That he, you know, he's he's gonna he's gonna get the guys that they they say that that they want. He's gonna get those guys. He just it's just a matter of time. Cause Tank Davis ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. He's looking, he's, he's looking to do what he's got to go do. Now, timeline-wise is that everything don't happen according to everybody else's plan because just how the business, you know, how the business goes. And, and Tank can speak for himself. I'm not speaking for him, but I'm just saying that, you know, I know firsthand he wants, he wants if, 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 if the fans say that that guy is the guy, he, he, he going to get that guy. It just might not be when they say he's going to dictate the terms on how that goes along. Was was there any uh, talks at all with, with Team Haney after both of their last fights in April and May? Just um, any talks? Yeah, like uh, you know, just because they after the, both of their fights, their their schedules were cleared and they're the two top lightweights. But it don't was happen. It, it, yeah, people, yeah. Because the fans don't understand, you know, and I get frustrated. You know, um, I mean, it even don't, if, it, it don't yeah. it don't work like that. I, and as I would say, some of those fights aren't ready at the moment. That's the best way to to put it. Some of those fights aren't ready at the moment. And I think you can read between the lines why. Tank Davis is like he just generated him and Ryan Garcia coming off of this fight. They generated more money than the entire lightweight and what junior welterweight division with everybody combined in their careers. You know what I mean? It's just like, so you have to kind of put things in perspective. And yeah, at the end of the day, people, this is prize fighting. You just ain't getting ready to go. You like, and one thing I do know, Tank Davis is not going to be taking no pay cut to do anything. He's the boss. So again, is that all those guys are terrific fighters. I ain't got to call their names. They're all the terrific fighters. They fight their behind off. But at the end of the day, tanks that dude. Once this Frank Martin Shakur fight kind of fell apart, there's just some wonder, like, well, maybe Frank Martin, maybe his name's in the hat to maybe get Tank after all. Or, um, What were your thoughts on Frank Martin's fight breaking down with Shakur? And it, it, is there a potential he has a bigger fight in store with Tank? Well, well put, I, I put it, it like this. People don't have all the information. Right. And at the end, at the end of the day, you know, um, Frank Martin has a team. He's a terrific young fighter. He has a team. And at the end of the day, it's what, it, what it's about. It's like, okay, you know, I, that ain't none of my business. But at the end of the day, okay, you know, Frank Martin ain't scared of nobody. I can tell you that. Fighters fight. Fighters don't, and that's for all fighters. Fighters aren't. Like, fighters fight, you know. They fought and, for free as kids and teenagers yeah, and, 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 and young up, men, right? And if right, it's right. up to the fighter, if it's up to the fighter, the fighters go, you, you know. And But a lot of times what happens is that, is that people don't have all the information. And I could, I could go out there and say certain things, but that's none of my business to do that. But at the end of the day, it's that, you know, it's like, <laughs> I don't want to say that. Um, at, the end of, at the end of the day, it, you know, all the fights that the fans want to happen, I think they eventually will happen. Mm -hmm. what, and again, I'm, I'm asking you, you know, because I know it's, it's not something you're, you're that concerned or involved in, but, but I'm asking, 
What did you think of that Haney Shakur quick negotiation, the 25% offer? What did you think of that? I don't know. None of my business. I'm just keeping it in the buck with you. Yeah. I don't even know what happened, the, the, the conversation, what kind of money was involved. I don't know. It's none of my business. I, and I never asked anybody because I could care less. It has nothing to do with does, me. Does 25% sound just fair? I, I, again, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, 25% yeah. of what? Right. Yeah, of what? A lot of times people don't know, have all the information, again, one side or the other. It's none of my business. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the pot was. I, you know, I, I don't know. I focus on the things that I'm involved with and that I know, and I'm very good at what I do. You, you mentioned it happens when, not in the timing of when people want it, but when it makes sense and business-wise and everything. Spence Crawford, what inevitably happened is Tara signs with PBC, and then, then it happens, and it's a big fight. Is that the inevitable outcome with Devin and Shakur, too? They're going to have to? I, I don't know. They both have managers and teams, and, and they'll they'll map out what's best for them. I, I don't know what the – or could even suggest that they all work with very good people who are very smart, you know, in the business. And so whatever they're doing and got mapped out for their careers, I can focus on the things that I'm focused on and – I can tell you everything that's going on in, in the PBC and Mayweather promotions. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. You work with a bunch of fighters that are terrific, the biggest stars in the sport, and and fighting the biggest fights. I can tell you that. You think Canelo will finish his career at PBC? Um, I don't see why he wouldn't. I mean, I don't see why he would go backwards. Uh, the level of opponents that that uh, the PBC has, it's like night and day from what he was just fighting. But it's just like he was just, again, props to Ed, to Eddie. You know, they extracted as much as they could out of those situations. Um, the, the guy that they were working with treated them well, you, you know, and so that's a, good, that's a good thing. There's nothing bad about that. But the level of, the level of opposition has definitely dropped off um, and the exposure the exposure you know, nobody's watching that nobody's <laughs> watching that 